Ah, it's a Fitzroya bog. It's an Alerse bog. You can see them growing. That's a really, uh, where'd I go? That's a really stunted one. Here's a Baccarus. Are these the same species? I guess so. Another Baccarus. Got that, still got that waxy, extra, extra waxy cuticle. Got some juncus and weird graminoids, glyceniaceae, the forked fern family right there. Oh yeah, there's a Baccarus. There's, there it is in fruit with the little fluffers. It's a fluffer ever, just going every which way. Oh, and this is not Fitzroya, even though it looks like it from far away. This is Pilgerodendron uviferum, which looks a lot like Fitzroya, but the, when you get up close, those they've got a much different shape to those leaves, and those little leaves, those needles, lack that white stomatal banding, like, uh, well, I'll show you here. See, there's a Fitzroya, right? It's kind of stunted, but you could see that white stomatal wax, that banding. Not so on these guys. And look at the much different habit too. It just goes straight up. And that thing too, it's got a much different habit. God, this bog is wild. What the hell is that? It's kind of picked my interest. What's that thing? Pilgero dendronuviferum. Evidently needs a little bit more moisture than the Alerces do. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's a great comparison. Fitzroya and Pilgerodendron. Fitzroya is a little bit more blue, probably because of that stomatal banding. It's a little more glaucous. And then Pilgerodendron, I see just the male cones. Those are just the microstroboli. You can see the, those imbricate scales, the, the ends just uh, turn into a microsporangia, into microsporophylls. Don't you love a good bog? I love a good bag. I mean, Fitzroy is, Fitzroy is doing it too, look. See, you could really, you really can tell them apart right there. Pilgerodendron on the left, a much more rigid and geometric style, whereas Fitzroy on the right is taking it a, a lot easier. It's just got a bluer, it's, you know, it's the, the ends of the leaves kind of dangle like that. Got a nice chiskea. Got that weird blechnum. Weird ass black them kind of trying to mimic a cycad. Got some nice lichens on the ground. God, look at that how rigid that form is on the Pilgero Dunron. They just they're fastidiate, they just shoot right up. And then there's a uh, a Lursay. they literally grow right next to each other. You know, where's, where's Pinochet buried? Can you visit his grave and take a dump on it? You know, normally I have respect for the dead, but sometimes it's okay not to. You know, if they're really bad people. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. This is like another level of luxury to end the day. Look at those spent, those spent stroboli on a lycopodium. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. A lot of good stuff here. There's a lot of good stuff here. Oh, there's some that haven't dehissed yet and released their spores. One of the five branches, major branches of land plants, the lycophytes. Holy shit, that's cool. Look at it. Look at them. Look at them female cones and the Pilgerodendron. God, this is such an old lineage. Look at that. It's just swollen leaves. It's just such a primitive, I don't know, they don't want you to say that, but it's just such a primitive, <laughs> such a primitive uh, reproductive structure. I'd love to see them before they get pollinated. Like, what do they, what do they look like when they're just at the distal ends of those branches? God, that's cool. Some weird monocot. I have no idea what it is. More of that Baccarus. Right there, Chiskea. Look at that Pilgerodendron. It's just a, it's just a fastidious little column. Ah, there's a lot of cool shit here. 
What a beautiful forest. What a beautiful habitat. God, it's so wild, man. You know, it's 9 p.m. right now. I don't give a shit. I could go all night. I feel like a tweaker, man. I'm so amped on this habitat. This is just mind-blowing. There's, there's like so much to take in. Got Phylesia still. Look at that. Just a phalanx of Pilgerodendron. Yeah, we got a Fitzroy. We have a kind of dwarfed Alerse. I wonder if this burned at some point or something. What is that black from? Got a dwarfed Alerse. It looks like it was topped or something. And then all the Pil Pilgerodendron coming up around it. They all grow really slowly, though. There's that weird Baccarus. Yeah, this this is a male. That's the other thing. Many of the Cupressaceae, the members of the Redwood family of the Northern Hemisphere, are monoecious. So they'll have male and female cones on the same plant. Fitzroya and Pilgerodendron are rarely ever mono, monoecious. They always are, seem to be dioecious. They've got one plant either produces female cones or male cones. There's a female. God, that is beautiful. I've never seen the cones before. I didn't know what they looked like. Holy hell. There's a female and there's a male. There's the male cones. Just literally just the ends of those branches become reproductive. They become fertile. Do the whole meiosis thing and, uh, and then start releasing pollen. And that's what the cones look like when they open. It's little woody structures. God, that's cool. That is beautiful, man. Chiskea nigra cans. Look, there it is. There's the there's the flowers. Little anthers dumping out. And then this is Baccarus magellanica. This is this is not. It's a, it's a Pilgerodendron bog. Pilgerodendron and Fitzroya, but definitely Pilgerodendron likes it wetter. You can tell. Oh, we got an Astelia here. This is certainly a genus with a Gondwanan distribution. I saw plenty of these in New Zealand. Saw a couple in Tasmania. And surely there were some growing on Antarctica before it froze over. God, the ground is squishy. Hopefully I'm not stepping on anybody. To, you know, hopefully they can recover. Just don't want to mess up the lichen. I mean, there's fucking cow prints here, so... I can't be, I can't be doing that much damage comparatively, you know? Here we go, this is cool. This is nice, we got a Drosera, flush and red. Oh, what the hell is that? What is that? <laughs> oh my God, what is that? Those are the fruits, I suppose. Oh yeah, they're really sticky. Look at this growing on the sand. There's some sort of composite. Asteraceae. There it is in seed. This looks like a dandelion. Sicaroidae, I suppose, huh? God, that's a that's a cool drosera, and I've seen a lot of droseras. That nutrient poor sand too. It's finally getting dark, like 9.30. Well, it's finally getting too dark to film. God, there's some cool birds out there that we can hear too. What a wonderful place. Glad it's protected. Well, that's all I got. Have a great rest of your night. Go fuck yourself. Bye. Look at his fern. Looks like a damn cycad. It looks like you, it looks like the sago palm in your granny's yard in Florida. God, that's cool. This bulbous, bulbous base. Beautiful white wax on the underside of those leaves.
And here's another Escalonia. It looks like that spider just caught a meal. What is it, a moth? You've seen tiny moths pollinating those flowers. A moth pollinated Escalonia. Escalonia AC Escaloniales. Sister order to Asterales, the sunflower order. You know, they're really big in the southern hemisphere. Oh, what's going on there? There you go. What the hell are those guys doing? What are they doing? Are those mosquitoes? No, those are something else. I don't know what the hell those are. The moon is beautiful tonight. You know, we we lied. We're we're going all night. You know, sun going down at 10 p.m. isn't enough for us. We got Drosera all over the ground and another cool conifer. Another relic of Gondwana. Lepidothamnus funkii. Funk. Who was funk? God, look at that Drosera though. That's really that's really uh that's really blowing my mind. That is a fucking great plant. Anyway, and you can see it looks like a little juniper when you get up close and it's got the distinct whorls of the family Podocarpaceae, primarily southern hemisphere family of conifers. There you go. There's a megastrobolus. There's a female cone. You can see it's scales and then there's that epimadium and it's just, uh, just a little swollen, a little swollen knob. A lot of podocarps are bird dispersed. I don't know what disperses this. If it is, if it's a tiny bird or what. A lot of podocarps are dioecious too. But I can't really tell if this is all one individual plant or a few or what. Touch my lepidothamnus fankiae. Cool conifer, cool habitat. Pelgeodendron Fitzroya drosera. Whatever the hell this little monocot is that's on the ground right there. Chiskea. Nigra canes. God, I love it here. The moon's in the north. There's Nathophagus betuloides too. Lots of dead alerse. It's like poles. I wonder if that's some fire or logging. This is all regrowth or what? The other Lepidothamnus is in, uh, where was that? New Zealand? I forget where I saw it. Certainly, there was Lepidothamnus on Antarctica. I don't know when it went out there, how long it lasted before the continent froze over, but definitely a Gondwanan affiliation here. All these are very, very old lineages of photosynthetic organism. Oh, that's a nice tarantula, man. Look at that. It's like orange. That's where he lives. We'll put this back. We lifted this rock. Well, we saw him hanging out here, and then he ran under there, so we lifted the rock up to take a gander. You can see yeah, he just molted. That's a beautiful creature. You don't got to worry about any of the New World tarantulas. Just the Old World ones. They can be dangerous. None of these. They just look... Well, I think he looks really cool, but you know, some people get weird around spiders. King awesome spiders. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. We're not trying, you know, we're trying to spook you. You really are gorgeous. What are you doing down here at 40 degrees south latitude? What kind of tarantulas were on Gondwana? You know, I was going to say it. What kind of tarantulas were hanging out on Antarctica? They're in the Eocene. Oh, we got a comb fern, a Skyzea. That's pretty cool. It's a weird lineage of pteridophyte. Standing about, what is that, three inches tall? Look at all this lepidothamnus. Look, this is all peat. Jesus. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's all peat, and it feels squishy. Wow, <laughs> look, it's so bright, man. 
We had this night jar. Some sort of bird was dive bombing us. I think, I think we pissed it off. I'm sorry, guy. There's a little lapidal thumb, this funky eye seedling. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch right there, too. With the Chiskea, Fitzroya. There's a big patch of, uh, what is this, some sort of junk casey. Some sort of, I don't know what the hell it is. What is this? Oh, wow. A little weird-ass monocut. Ah, there's the micro strobe eye. You can see the male cones on Lepidotham. This funky eye. Those frogs sure sound nice. Is then I bet they would let us kick it with them. It's the big mat of sphagnum with Lepidothamus on it. And a dwarf not the fagus betuloides. <laughs> 